Alrighty, what is up YouTube? Uh, so I've had some recent challenging comments and uh, I want to address that along with updating the Dolby Atmos configuration that I uh, had put out prior in a video. So just kind of a little bit of an itinerary on this. We're going to be looking at the Dolby Atmos configuration and then I'm also going to be trying to write in a description a uh, breakdown as to how exactly we're laying this out. It'll be a kind of a quick reference guide where you guys can come directly back to it. And let's say this stupid ass app updates and then it's all reset because that happens every time you pretty much uh, go to Microsoft Store and there's an update. It just resets everything. It's a pain in the ass. Another reason why I don't like Dolby Atmos. But uh, I'm going to address a couple other things within this video as well. Uh, first things first, though, I'm going to tell you guys, do not use Surround Virtualizer and do not use Volume Leveler. And here are the reasons why. So first off, Sound Virtualizer ends up essentially cutting you, the distance. You can hear footsteps, slides, jumps, all this other shit in half. So yes, it'll be useful in the super close proximity, uh, those, those kinds of fights. But if you're not a, here's, here's the thing. If you do not move a whole lot, if you're a corner camp and twat, which if you are, sorry, not sorry. Like if you, if you can at least admit you're a corner camp and twat, then it'll get you somewhere. But if you can't even admit that that's what you're doing, then you have a problem, right? That's, that's how it, how it goes. Addiction, uh, just any sort of issue, admit you have a problem. That's the first step. Anyway, major, uh, major distraction there, major tangent, but sound virtualizer ends up making it to where your distance to where you can hear people and especially directionally, uh, is, is, very limited. It's it's kind of shit. So that's why I don't use it. Volume leveler does exactly what it says. It levels. Levels off these frequencies to where they basically are across the board. It makes a balanced frequency, which is not what we're trying to do here at all. So essentially what I'm going to do with this one is uh, I'm going to uh, find the settings real quick that I had for this video. One moment. Okay, here we are. So the best war zone settings I had. This is for a yeah. This is for a heavier base headset. Why the hell is this on? Okay, off. So option two. This is a heavier base headset. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this up to four. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take this up to three. And take this up. No, actually, I'm going to keep that zero. And take this up two. Four. Six, three, two, and four. So here's a little trick that I want to let you guys in on. This is a really good baseline frequency uh, across the board. All the way from 32 to 16k. These, this is going to be a good baseline for you, because what this does is it utilizes the 32 to 64 hertz to uh, increase the kind of, I guess I would say, the virtualization of the world that you're in. So, especially when it comes to war zone, what this is going to sound like is a bit more uh, in depth. The the realism is is more real, I guess I would say. Uh, that's the 32 to 64 hertz. 125 to 250 is going to be kind of the uh, lower end frequency for footsteps and 
many other things as well. Then the 2K to 8K is going to be your frequencies for, um, well, actually, I, would, I can include 1K to 8K because there is a little bit of crossover between 1K to 2K and then 8K to 4K. This crossover takes place so minute, though, that me explaining it isn't going to do any good. Um, so right now, we'll just focus on the 1K to 2K, 4K, and 125 and 250 hertz and then kind of explaining why they're as they are. So 125 and 250 is what I would recommend, depending on your headset, this is gonna vary based on what you guys have. So I've got an Alienware uh, 988 headset, and this thing has 40 millimeter drivers that have a lot of punch to it, a lot of bass. So I don't actually need to take this 125, 250 hertz up very much. However, if you lack a little bit of bass, I would say take both these up. Maybe one each, two each, three each. You got to figure it out. Okay. No headsets the same. Now the same thing is going to take place within the 1K to 8K range. Now I would say initially use the 2K to 4K range and increase that one, one, two, to to find out where you where the sweet spot is for your headset because primarily 2k to 4k is your uh, footstep range when it comes to frequencies on the high end on the low end again that is 125 to 250 so increase these two sets of frequencies and then find out where the best sound is uh, where the best distance you can hear footsteps loudly clearly directionally um, I will disclose that Sound Virtualizer does allow you to hear um, kind of the upper level, back behind you, whatever. Um, it, it gives a little bit better perspective on where that sound is actually coming from. But that's not the most important. You need to hear what's coming to, toward you before it's too late, right? That's why I'm saying do not use the Virtualizer. The Virtualizer is basically useless because it cuts that range of which you can hear those sounds in half so that's that's less than that's that's a one to two ratio on getting notice where an enemy is coming from about to fuck you do not use it okay anyway this is uh the baseline frequency i'm going to include that in the video um description just pretty much this baseline here where we had the i don't even remember what the hell it was anyway it'll be in a text format that way you guys can have quick reference to it but the next video is going to be awcc um be sure to tune in if you guys want to see that this is personally what i use i'm going to skip that everything's up to date i don't know why it's saying this yeah if if you've updated everything and everything works i would say do not update this shit do not touch it just screw this i know it's a big green button that you think means go but do not touch it it's going to fuck up your software because Dell can't do shit right. Anyway, um, what I'm going to go into is AWCC and address the um, audio effects equalizer and microphone effects that I have for this headset. Again, it's going to be a baseline. Just keep that in mind. But if you're on Alienware, as you can see here, <laughs> then yeah, let me get this out of the way yeah boom see big old alienware icon so that's why I'm using the headset I typically try to stay in the same realm as whatever major PC I'm using like the manufacturer is alienware Dell so I'm going to stick within that realm but minus all the tangents and kind of rants I got onto. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, be sure to comment and let me know what's on your mind. But if you have something that is counter to what I specified in this video and you're just looking to argue, go to another fucking video because it's just going to annoy me. All right. Anyway, for everybody that is normal and not a jackass, you have a great night.